All right, so now let's move on to conditional formatting. So this is a really cool tool that allows you to visually separate and figure out the different kinds of data that you may have in a database. So for this example, let's say that we want to, um, let's say we want to determine what country won, you know, in, let, let's say like we want to look at the medal count for the different countries and we want to be able to sort them by color. So we can say conditional formatting that text is exactly. So think when the text is exactly United States, let's make the background color of that cell um, blue for the red, white, and blue. So we're going to apply this conditional formatting to the entire column. And so what's going to happen here and I want you all to understand this because this is really, really useful, is it's going to show, it's going to highlight the cell and make the background color of every cell that includes the words United States a blue color. So save this rule, wait for it to load, and bam. So we can't read the text, so that was a poor color choice on my part. But what you can see is that every time the United States shows up in these cells, the background color turns blue. And so let's say we want to do a different conditional format. So we can do, let's clear the formatting. So we're back to square one. Um, and now let's do something different. So let's say we want to do, um, ah, here's a good one. So let's do, instead of the country color, let's rebuild this, let's say, Show me every time a medalist is over the age of 25. So what we're going to do is say when the text contains, um, so what you can see is we're selecting how to pull the data for this range. And so we're going to say when the data in the cell is greater than 25. So when the data in the cells in this column that we selected, and you can see the range here too, by the way. Um, so it's saying like every bit of data in column B, when the, any cell has data in column B that's greater than 25, let's make the background color a pale orange or a yellow, depending on your eyesight. So we'll save this rule, wait for the conditional formatting to apply, and then voila. So now what we can do is if, if we're scrolling through this, we can easily see, you know, that, okay, there were a couple medalists um, who, you know, we can just easily pick out like the medalists that were over 25 when, um, when they won their medal. So if we did something, which we'll get into, uh, let's get in, yeah, which we'll get into later, but sorting, so let's say we wanted to sort this column A to Z. Dun, dun, dun. And so we can see just visually, so the, this is the Olympic data since early 2000. You can see this bar here is the spreadsheet loading. Um, I should probably delete some data from this. But you can see here that in the 2000 games, there was a large chunk of people that, you know, were over 25 and they won medals. So we can see like a lot of them, we could do a sort by country if we wanted to and we could visually see very easily, we could sort by sport and see very easily, you know, what sports have people that meddled. So let's say, uh, let's undo this um, here. So let's just undo that sorting function So we're back to where we started. And in the next lecture, we're going to cover, we're going to take a look at people that meddled over the age of 25 by sport. And so that's when we'll get into sorting rows of data, filtering, and the like. So hang tight and uh, move on to the next lecture.